Hello everyone and welcome. This is Sherry Carroll for SimonSaysStamp.com and I am creating a Christmas tag using lots of layers of Tim Holtz ideology. I have pulled out a bunch of stuff that I want to work with and it's kind of fun for me to pull out things and then create a project from them. So I have some ink colors, some adornments and collage paper, also some flashcards, my number eight tags, thin lit dies, and finally, the paper pad that I'll be using is the Tim Holtz Christmas Papery Stash 8x8 inch papers. And it has some really amazing papers in here, which I'll show you as I go along. One of the sheets that I was really interested in is this gold star foiled paper. And it's really beautiful. It has that really nice sheen of stars. And I'll just tear a corner off. I'll be putting this onto the left side of my tag. I'll also be using the Holly Collage Paper from Tim Holtz, and this is like a tissue. And to glue everything down, I'm using the Matte Gel Medium. And I have to laugh, I started off with the paintbrush and I decided, no, I'm just going to go ahead and dip my finger in there. It's a lot easier to control it. And so I am just adding some of that Matte Gel Medium to the tag and making sure that I get my paper stuck down really well. And then I can add a little bit on top. I won't be doing any painting, I'm just using the papers as they are because they're super pretty. And I'll tear a corner of that holly collage and figure out where I want to place that. Since I have a hard edge of that paper, I want to trim off the top so I can see where that top edge will sit from that star paper. I'll figure out my alignment and add a little bit more of the gel medium and add it to the area where I'm going to be using that paper. And this is really delicate, so when you're adding your gel medium on top, you want to be really careful not to pull too hard. I have torn another piece of paper that will fit into that gap, and this is the back side of that star paper. It has a really nice fine pattern. I'm using my gel medium once again, and I'll line this up with the grid paper that I'm using just to make sure everything is aligned. I'll be adding another piece of the Holly Collage paper to the left side, the bottom left, and this will balance out the design to where the color will follow through. And again, I'll be really careful with my gel medium on the top just to make sure I don't tear that paper. Once those layers of the papers are somewhat dry, I can trim around the back side of the tag to finish off the edges. I've cut about a one inch strip of some red snowflake paper and I'll be adding this to the tag just at the top of that holly. And I've used my dot liner adhesive to tack that down and snip off the excess. I'll be using one of the holiday flashcards for this. And again, using my dot liner adhesive, I'm just putting a little bit onto the back side and lining that up. Here is one of the sheets that I adore from this paper pack. This is an overlay snowflake sheet. And I will be attaching this to the card using my mini attacher. And once I've attached that to the top, I can use my scissors to trim around the tag so that it fits the whole front. I have trimmed up a piece of the wood grain paper, also from the paper pack, and I'm attaching it just above that believe flashcard on top of the overlay. I have die cut the poinsettia and some greens, and I'll be coloring this with some Barn Door Distress Oxide ink. And to add a little bit of depth of color, I'm adding just a slight amount of walnut stain on top. I have also die cut some of these stems, and this is a two-piece die that you can put together, but I'll be using them separate. So for the pine needles, I'm using peeled paint ink, and then for the stem, I'm using walnut stain. Once my inks are completely dry, I'm using Simons' stamp glue to glue the centers of the flowers together. And also this last piece I colored with the fossilized amber. I have wrapped some of the silver metallic thread around the tag about three times and I am tying a square knot. And I have to tell you that tying knots on film is just so cumbersome, it, it never looks right. So I am basically tying a double knot onto the front. And I have a trick for you once I get this tied. I have left those strings long on purpose and I'll show you a trick on how to keep those from fraying. So I have wrapped that around, tied that knot good and tight, and what I do next is add a little bit of the Simon's Stamp tacky glue to my fingers and I will grab these threads and just run the glue down the string. Once the glue is dry, I can snip those off and it won't fray. So I have also tied on the piece little message strip and I've also added some dangles to the top. And I've just used some regular twine, some hemp twine, and I'll be securing those at the top with my tiny attacher. 
I have left the ends of those knots long and I'll add some Simon Says Stamp tacky glue to those knots and then once that is dry I can snip off the ends. I am spritzing the poinsettia with a little bit of water so that I can lift up some of the color by blotting it with a paper towel. Next I'm adding some of the greenery to the tag and I'm using again the Simon Says Stamp tacky glue because it has such a nice fine tip point that I can get into those small areas. I've also added a little bit of foam tape to the poinsettia so it'll sit right on top of that word strip. I am trimming out the message Happy Holidays from the Gilded Christmas rub-ons and these are really cool and you just need to lay that right where you want it and I am burnishing that in with my thumbnail. Once I have covered that I can lift up the top sheet and reveal the really nice shiny message. And as my final finishing touch, I have tied a double bow and I've glued that to the top of the tag. One of the things I really love about this tag is using different metallic colors and textures from the gold stars to the silver gilded message and then also the adornments that have a flat metal look. I also really love the snowflake overlay sheet. I think that really added to the whole layering design. I hope I've given you some inspiration in using some papers and dyes and also adornments to create a special holiday tag. And as always, thanks so much for watching.